What up, what up, back at it with another video, Flay Media. We're gonna be diving into the Vintage by Barringer. Let's get into it, let's go. So let's talk about this Vintage, this launch that was bungled in the initial, uh, I guess it was leaked two, three weeks ago, depending on what time frame you're looking at this and the launch has happened now let me just dive into how you need to register this license before you even register the license you must install in the standalone mode first all right so if it's au vst3 and standalone you must select all three to register you're going to need a standalone mode to register your vintage VST. And if not, you had checked the VST in the AU, you must go in, trash it, and install the vintage scent again as AU VST3 and standalone to be able to register your device. Master, low frequency oscillator, VCO, octave, semi detune it but then you have the vcf1 you got a to toggle on the page to actually change the parameters you got the volume vibrato unison vca2 under here you want to engage that then we have the vcf here you can disengage engage like i said these prompts it's tactile almost where you have to actually hit it to maneuver any settings inside low frequency oscillators you can select what type of waveform color one of two which is one and two together you can blend together noise master preset lists a lot of presets they have here i know you're wondering how does the preset sound well let's let's listen to it the presets i'm gonna let Behringer know the vintage they need to update soon y'all have to get a better preset the browser is great but y'all need better presets also effects we need effects with this so you know if you're listening you must do that and also with the switching from patch to patch the volume is going up it's going down it's not loud enough you know we need some type of a, a compressor on there and like i said a reverb or something for us to really get excited about the presets that's just my opinion i want y'all to go to the comments and leave your thoughts what do you think about it also with this vst scent there are no effects what i did was i'm using a compressor and i'm using a reverb the sounds in general this needs to be updated asap this is not something that you will pull out and start using all right so so these are the type of sounds you're gonna get no presets have i tapped into yet it's going to be garnin 99 dollars just to let you know so if you got it for free you're great can't complain about free plugins but it's a nice little detroit bass but far as just having the best presets on the market this is not it so hopefully it's going to be a revamp version with effects with more better presets than what's in here already presets are pretty much usable if you know if you're gonna have something to to um have stacked this is great for adding you know warmth to a sterile scent that you already have but you know you, you got to go through and pick your poison with this this is definitely 
not the best preset list I ever ran upon, but you know, it's free. But you know, this is vintage, so this is how vintage is gonna sound. More presets from the vintage. So these are not going to be the most <laughs> after sort out presets on the market. Absolutely not. So what do I think of the vintage? One out of 10 being free, I'll give it a three or four. We'll see what happens in the update, but you know, uh, the interface is nice. I like it. A really bland VST and that's just in my opinion. Can it be used? It's possible this can be used if you're, you know, like I said, if you have something and it needs some weight or it needs some type of something in as vintage, it'll work. But far as preset list is horrible. Let me know your thoughts below about the vintage. It was free, so I can't complain, but hopefully there will be a 2.0 update. Maybe they can throw in a uh, effects slot in here somehow. I don't know how they can do that without revamping the whole thing, but the preset list has to be better if this is a biggest launch of the VST from Behringer. Let me know your thoughts below. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe and we're going to see you in the next video. Peace. This was, you know, a disappointment for me. All right. Peace.